This video brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Green Man Gaming. Go to Green Man Gaming. It's Green Man Gaming. Please. They're very lonely without you. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. That was the quietest video intro we've ever done. <laughs> At least from my end. Oh my god. Wait, scan this one. Nice. Now we get 70 for Please each scan. Please do not disturb the What? What? The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. Okay. You do know that the mass relay is basically just a big giant gun that fires a spaceship across the across the infinite cosmos. <laughs> like BAM <sighs> What am I doing on this side of the Presidium? Why do you have a name? What can What's you this? do for me? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. I like how every single Volus that we run into is totally chill. Except that first one who was an ass. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Uh, okay. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Well, whatever. I should go. <laughs> goodbye, Commander. Yeah, goodbye. We'll never see him again. I don't even know why we came over here. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> Emporium Shopkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Uh, personal question. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Okay. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Non-human armors, versus. Oh my god, you're making me pick pick through categories? Just show me everything. Give me that. <laughs> that one. I want that one. <laughs> okay, goodbye, I guess. What's up the stairs? Yeah. <gasps> Keepers! This is the secret keeper! We found the secret keeper! They don't tell you about that one. Because no one in their right mind would come over here. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, actually, we're running around trying to find any excuse to get XP so that we could get our charm level up. That's XP. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Please stop pulling your gun out in this... <laughs> Another keeper. XP, XP, da 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 da. Citadel Rapid Trend. Hey. Hello. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. I. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? 
Uh... Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Uh, sure, why not? Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. I get better service with the United States Postal Service. Are you fucking kidding me? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? No, you've been pretty fucking useless. More useless than YouTube creator support. And yes, that's a real thing. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see I like how she's not to even touching her head. Yes, of course, mistress. Mistress? Oh, boy. <laughs> Greg, get the sensor bars ready. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Oh, boy. Fine. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Uh, okay. Sup, losers. Yep, I just got pushed to the front of the fucking line. <laughs> uh, wait, where was the window? <laughs> Interesting bed. I'm not sure how you get in. I'm not sure how you lay in it. I'm also not entirely sure how it doesn't fall over. It's an enigma. <laughs> oh, hang on. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. Your Citadel? What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Everyone's got problems. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Okay. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Oh no. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Okay, say no more. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince oh him to boy, stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. <laughs> now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Oh, I'll bet. <laughs> They're all sitting out in the, w in the lobby doing nothing. Reading those old magazines that haven't been replaced in five years, maybe even more. <laughs> Why is the commentary on this series so damn good? Ah, damn, we're funny. We are funny people. Uh, I say, I tell you what, I need to go to. The CSEC offices. <sighs> I like how that's all the same goddamn car. <laughs> Wait, which one's the. Most traffic. Wait, is the. Requisitions office is this way. Okay, requisitions. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yes. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Fuck yeah. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this 
Must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll <laughs> open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, big sniper rifle. Big shotgun. Big assault rifle. Big, big pistol. It's also... By God, it's expensive. <laughs> let's get the license to start. That's, uh... Ooh, yeah, sure. That's cheap. Everything here is out of our price range, aside from those two things. Oh, God. Well, here's why they're so expensive. They're all prototypes. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, keep it. The database. What database? Do I have access to this database? Yeah, let me just check. That. How close are we to leveling up, actually? Uh, I need another 290. I keep accidentally hitting that button. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman. He's threatened you. Oh, that's not good. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. Oh, no. And I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Really? Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Uh, you seem a bit paranoid, but yeah, you know, I'll look into it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. <coughs> he said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Isn't that the guy well, wasn't that... Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. You don't say. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. <sighs> okay, that's a general area map. Da -da -da. And uh, there might be a keeper up here. I'm not sure. There is. Oh. <laughs> That's against the rules. As I proceed to scan another. What's down there? Nothing. There's nothing down there. That's what's down there. What is the point of this room? <laughs> Lockers. Many, many lockers. There's an elevator here. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Well, are they? <laughs> it doesn't help that 80% of them might actually be that. <laughs> Uh, decryption's too low for that. I gotta get better decryption. Then we'll decrypt all the things. No computer will be si Surprised they're not getting on my case about that. Uh, I think it was the wards. Uh, yeah, it was the markets. We're doing a quest here. 
Those lines on the arms there. Are those super highways? Those might be highways. I don't know. You'd think the whole thing would be lit. Look at this place. Christ. I think they made it prettier in this version, too. I'm not sure. So it's been a long, long time since Mass Effect. Did I scan you? Yeah, I scan you. How you doing? Still getting that refund? Guess not. Uh, markets. <gasps> there he is! Get him! Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. They're with you? Looks like my plans <laughs> have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... Over our heads. Go on. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? You stole the plan, or you didn't just copy them? Get readings from the keepers. Um, what's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. Now you After tell me. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Can't you have them, like, walk through, like, an x-ray or some shit? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I like how the I like how the bottom one is just sigh. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. Oh, well, I'm imagining it and it's to make real a bit boring. Of a yourself, remember? Uh, I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Yeah, I'll just Thank walk you. all the way the and fuck back scanning, up Commander. there. <laughs> I love walking back and forth like I'm a, like I'm a goddamn messenger. <laughs> Commander Shepard, savior of the galaxy. <laughs> you wanna scan some keepers? <laughs> I promise it won't take too long. <laughs> oh god, let me go all the way back to C-Sec. Alright. C-Sec. He was upstairs, right? Yeah. He was upstairs. Downstairs is requisitions. Upstairs is the guy. There's our guy. Alright. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Unfortunately, yes. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Oh, well, then... see, that wasn't too fucking hard, was it? <laughs> 
That was only 195. Oh my god. The, look how disgustingly close that is. We're 19 away. Ugh. If we could just scan one more keeper. Wait, I know where there is one. Uh... This way. In other news, ExogeniCorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. You notice they put a skip button in there? <laughs> I'll get to you two in a minute. I'm about to level up. Done. That's just the exact amount required. Beautiful. And it doesn't even give me enough fucking skill points to get it all the way up. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, now what do you want? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Um... Okay. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Oh, no. No, there's more to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Yeah. I heard from this guy that that told me in a fucking bar in the middle of the slums, you piece of shit. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But I'm supposed but we to know find him. <laughs> the conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find Noveria. out what Saren uh -huh. was after on Pharaohs in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. And you didn't think we to don't know if she's put involved, that in with the other two leads? To try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Okay. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. I don't? But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job. <laughs> I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Which I means I sucked before I sucked. <laughs> Uh, hey, what's yes, up? Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. Tell me everything! Tell on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Uh -huh. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. Okay. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. Yeah, sounds the plan awesome. plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Let me guess. He went in there with a fuck ton of grenades? I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Grenades. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? 
The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. Well, shit. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. <laughs> oh, believe me, I fucking don't. I think he wanted things Jackass. to <laughs> He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. Maybe he, he just people. likes the violence. The whole way there, he was playing fucking Just Cause, laughing like a goddamn maniacal maniac. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? Good point. I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. <sighs> so how are you holding up? How are you holding up? I literally Honestly, just worded it like that. This isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. You're like 78, I, I think. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Fuck, how old is Anderson? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. <sighs> okay. Normandy weapons. We have weapons? Do we have weapons? Combat hard suits oh, use God. a dual layer I forgot system this thing to protect talked. the wearer. Ah, uh, God. The oh, inner layer... Stop. Uh... The system's... No. Just secondary. Okay, ships and vehicles... Weapons? Where did it go? <laughs> it says here, Alliance cruisers are named after cities of Earth. What about dreadnoughts? There's the Everest, the Fuji, and... Elbrus. Elbrus? Seriously? Fighters. We never see fighters until the third game. Great battles in human history. Wait. Wasn't Normandy a battle? Wait. Yeah, Normandy. The breaching of Hitler's Atlantic Wall. Operation Overlord. I have no idea where the goddamn thing... Wait, personal history. Hang on. No. That's just my backstory. <laughs> I don't know. It said personal history. The ship seems kind of personal. Uh, anyway, there's In one more news, thing we got. Chairman do. Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Is it just me, or did they make that elevator a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot faster? <laughs> That's how I would describe it, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot faster. All right, this is the last thing we gotta do here, and then we can finally leave. A gentleman's club in the wards. Yes, a gentleman's club. Not how I would describe it. <laughs> All right, where is this guy? That's Harkin. Uh, we're looking for, uh, here he is. 
Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What did a woman do to put you in this state? <laughs> you fucking suck. She rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Thank fuck I have enough for this. General, did you ever win a battle by mobbing in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I ever come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. <laughs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Oh, good. That was easy. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Or three. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? I absolutely would, yes. Please, I'm poor. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Oh? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where? Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I'm already a commander, so... Yeah, probably not that far off. <laughs> I think. Uh... Okay, now let's never go in that club ever again. This has been my TED talk. <laughs> uh, to presidium, to, to, to embassies. At least it's labeled as such. All right. Welcome to the presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Where? Uh, okay. It's the guy from earlier next to the really rude guy. <laughs> the really rude Volus. <laughs> is it you? Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Apparently not. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Oh, it's this Hello one. There, <laughs> Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Your big secret. What is the secret? The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. What's the secret? Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. 
please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. Okay. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only <laughs> hope so. I like how loud his footsteps are. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. <laughs> you see, Dan, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I mean, I do, but... F fuck you. <laughs> do not listen to my volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. <laughs> All right, now what? Let's see. Uh... All right, now we just go all the way back over there and talk with her. <laughs> I walk to one side of the citadel, walk to the no walk to the other side of the citadel. Now walk back because there wasn't actually a problem in the first place. Allow me to be your guide. No, you can't be my guide. You don't know where I'm going, where I've been. <sighs> Took you that long to load it? It's right on the other side of the bridge. Look, I was standing right over there. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just gonna go in. I'm not even gonna talk to you. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. Yes, it was a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars. <laughs> Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Campaign? It was a campaign? Jesus. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What? I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. Okay. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. Remember when this I said we weren't going to do much with Garrus in tow? <laughs> it only forms the basis for your future greatness. Yeah, beat myself in the head for that. Sense, Commander. You have quite a gift, Chaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Hmm. They will give you strength. Okay. <laughs> Trinket. I will be goddamned if I remember where the fuck I use that. If I use that at all. Ugh, oh, shit. Ugh, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think on that. We have so much shit we gotta do in this game. Uh, why would I go back to the med clinic? Why would I go there? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, trying to think. I mean, we come back here later, we could just... In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions.
can't be too bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, inspect the hall. How she look? Shiny. Thrusters. How do they look? Shiny. <laughs> Very shiny. Shiny ship. <laughs> The most astute observation. The ship is shiny. Alright. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. That counts as an elevator. <laughs> I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Oh no. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Okay. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. <laughs> I like how the I like how Garrus is in the back there, like, well, I guess I'm part of this now. <laughs> Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. <sighs> well, for once, I think I'm actually gonna do an outro for this. Uh, that's, uh, uh... That's, uh, Mass Effect for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. Galaxy. It spins! But no matter what scars you bear, whatever uniform you wear, you can fight like a Krogan, run like a leopard, but you never be better than Commander Shepard. Oh.